fella. We could be that mistake. Let's do this. What up, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're Embrace the Sex 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. We are starting Series 3 of An Idiot Abroad. What? The shortest one of all of them. Yes. Um, quickly, we uh, wikipedia what the Series 3 is about, and yes. basically, uh, Carl and Warwick Davis are bicycling Marco Polo's uh, so, deal. So no pun intended when it's the shortest season. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Uh, before we d d yeah. dig too deep of a hole, yeah. let's just get into it. Marco Polo, one of the world's greatest explorers. In the 13th century, he embarked on an epic journey from Venice to China that took over three years to complete. Now, Ricky Gervais is sending his mate Carl Pilkington to follow in his footsteps. But this time, he's got a little company. What is stop just puffing and panting like that? Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a Primark sale. He said if he did it again, he'd want some company this time. He meant me, but I've sent someone in my place. Yeah, yeah. Grab hold of that, man. I can't see. <laughs> They're like chalk and cheese. Carl whinges all the time. He's doing me head in. He's treating it like a holiday. He says he doesn't want adventure. He doesn't want stress. I'm just not a good swimmer. Once you're in, it'll be fine. Warwick never says no. It, it'll take on a challenge. Tease the camera. Tease the camera. Now do a little bit from Oliver. Good. <laughs> it's not the night for this, is it? You'll have to do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> They're going to have the adventure of their lifetime, whether they like it or not. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh my God. Oh man. Just from the, the first little bit alone, I just know this is going to be great. This is going to be gold, man. Yeah. I, I want to know why they pulled the plug. Well, I have a few assumptions of why, but I want to know why. Why they pulled the plug? On this. Why is it not still going? I don't know, man. I guess it might be the same reason that Gervais pulled the plug on The Office in the UK after two series or three series or whatever it was. Didn't want to exhaust it. Yeah. Smart. Smart Leave move. them wanting more. Yep. Right. Thank you for signing up for another adventure. You're going to take the Marco Polo route. Started all off one of the most famous explorers of all time, and he went from Venice through Europe, Asia, and you're going to end up in China. I remember telling you when Dick Whittington walked to London that he had a cat with him, his cat, and you went, "Why take a cat? Right, take a little mate." I didn't mean a little mate. <laughs> I meant take a mate, take someone who can help you, bring something with them. Oh, hang on, whoa. Yeah. So what you're saying that I'm not going to bring anything to the party here? I've never seen a dwarf go on a round-the-world trip on any programme. Reynold Fiennes, or whatever his name is, when he climbed Everest. He didn't say, here's my little mate I brought. <laughs> if I'm being honest... No, if we're being honest, though... But, Carl... Because what, what, you, what you don't... What, what's, what's his height got to do with it? Yeah. I just think you're going to be a hindrance. Yeah. Oh, this is really bad. Normally, when I've done these things in the past, all I've had to do is worry about myself. Yeah. I don't no, have that no. many mates. I don't think I need them. And maybe that's part of what's worrying me. You're like a little sort of limpet hanging on, dragging me back. That's how it feels. Limpet? <laughs> well, that's something that's just clinging on, a stag beetle, a leech. Take oh, yeah, not you're a like limpet. A leech. That a leech. would be insulting. <laughs> no, a stag a beetle a or a leech, he means. A leech, a leech sucking me blood, taking me energy because you're going, can you carry this, can you carry that? <laughs> be fine. It's not fine. I tell you what, I want that little bit on my phone with you going, it'll be fine. So that when you're shitting out a lung, I can go, remember that? It'll be fine. <laughs> That's what worries me. He hasn't got a clue. It's not all luxury. It'll be fine. Honestly. It won't be fine. All right. So first of all, he is a established actor. Yeah. It is so many different we, roles. We did a little Wikipedia on Warwick. Yeah, a little IMDb a, search. Holy shit! All the Star Wars, all the Harry Potters, <laughs> all, all, uh, Narnia, Narnia, all the Leprechauns, like, yeah, like. Dude he can handle himself. Unfortunately, maybe a little bit of typecasting going on. Uh, of course. Yeah. Of course. L uh, a little bit. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gonna be it's going to... I feel like it's going to come up a lot. Yes. To all of our dwarves that yes. are listening, 
we apologize in advance. Yeah. We're sorry. Uh, but also, do, do you recognize the background of yeah. where... Yeah, learn English. Learn English with Ricky Gervais. This dude's house. Yeah. So where's Merchant? I, I think Merchant wasn't part of this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. I Interesting. Know. Interesting. So he might have funded this himself. Probably. Yeah. Wow. All, All right. right. Venice, Italy. <laughs> Marco Polo, this is where he was from. This is where he started it. Just think how old all this stuff is. You'd soon get sick of it, though, wouldn't you? It's a town made for mermaids. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just hassle. Yeah, but if you lived here, it wouldn't be a hassle because it's part of your life and you realise when you want to get from there to there, you either jump on a gondola or you walk up to a bridge and cross. Yeah, I think we've moved on, haven't we? The time when we walked out of the water, stopped swimming about. We were fish, weren't we, millions of years ago? We weren't fish. We were some sort of swimming grub type thing and it grew up into people. Um. Now, I don't know how old this place is, but it suited us more back then. It doesn't work, this, living like this. It's not... It, works. it doesn't work, living this in water. This city's been here for hundreds of years. Uh, even what? Carl can take something so majestic, like, you know, water streets, I... and just shit on it. Uh, let me be frank. Okay. All right, I'm usually just Daniel. Let me be frank for a second. Okay. I have no drive to visit Italy. No. Mm -mm. Uh, I mean, I just, I just don't. I just, I just don't. I. I'll put it this way: someone paid for my way, I will visit. Okay. But I have a lot of other things to do before Italy. Uh, before more, Italy trip. More I, things on your bucket list that are higher up on the priority. Yes. 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 One hundred percent. Yeah. I and I just, I, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the the old. How do I say this, man? The old, whatever. The old what? It just uh, it doesn't. Medieval, Renaissance, all that stuff doesn't draw me, as much as ancient stuff. Oh. Or. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd go for pyramids, in. There's China. There's uh, there's pyramids all over the place. But I go for okay. those before I go to this. It's it, it's a little too recent for you. Yeah. Okay. That's if if I could say that. That's I that's... feel like the history has been covered and pounded. Yeah. About this. Mm -hmm. So I just the draw isn't there. But I know it's for the atmosphere. I just I don't know. What about you? Would you? I would want to eat my way through Italy. Yes. I mean I I I know that like, in the days of everyone immigrating to America through Ellis Island, like the diversity of Italians were homogenized into little Italy through, yep. through all that. So just like, like spaghetti and meatballs, that's an American thing. Yep. That's not Italian at all. They don't, they don't toss spaghetti with red sauce. They toss red sauce with tubes. They toss spaghetti with oil and cheese and herbs. So I would be interested to eat my way through there. Yeah, no, that that that's a good way to put it. Yeah, I, yeah. As far as dishes go, yeah, hell yeah, count me in. Uh huh. You know, but as far as like, let's go see the Leaning Tower. Like, nah, let me know when it falls. I got you. <laughs> I'm all about it. Okay. But all right, uh, glad we've established that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Where are we going? Just keep going straight. Well, I've got no option. I'm like Pac Man. <laughs> it's like a fire alarm's gone off and everyone's just hanging about. They've come to see this. St. Mark's Square. It's beautiful. Back Never heard of it. In the 1600s, right? This was the centre for culture and entertainment in Europe. You can just feel the, the energy. It's interesting how the human body was represented. The body hasn't changed, has it, from how it was then? <laughs> It's just that they were probably more tanned because they all, you know, walked about with the tackle out. <laughs> if you're walking about with next and out on all the time, you're going to make an effort to have a six pack. I've got a t-shirt on, so I'm not bothered. No one's got any pets. Why do you think there should be pets? 
Just to cheer it up a bit, if there was a fat ginger cat sat in the corner, it would take the edge off someone being clubbed to death. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff memories are made of. Oh, mate. That's Jesus good, <laughs> I tell you, that is going to get right on me tits if he continues this touristy thing he's doing. He's treating it like a holiday. Isn't that how Marco Polo did it? He won't stop in every five minutes feeding pigeons. He's an explorer. He's pissed off over there buying ice cream or postcards or something. He's left me with his bag. Fucking ice cream. It's going to take forever, isn't it? This. Getting all the way to China. I mean, come on. Italian ice cream is one of the best. Gelato yep. shits on American ice cream. Yep. So... Can you blame him? <sighs> no. No, you can't. You can't, man. There's 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 two ways to approach an abroad, right? Yeah. An open mind and a closed mind. And this is both. Mm-hmm. An open stomach helps too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. let me turn off my inner fat kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right. Th this would draw me. Mm-hmm. You know? Because this is probably... <laughs> You could safely eat anything in this whole area. I'm like, all right, we're good. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not, when the further away you get, you're like, eh, should have stocked up on my carbs out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got an ice cream. It's melted a bit. It's a long way. You like vanilla? Yeah, I like vanilla, yeah. We can't keep doing this, though. Oh. We're sort of wandering about, taking pictures and that. Because it's not me, this. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to open your mind and open your eyes a bit and to appreciate where we are and what we're doing. And so we do the pigeons, we get ice cream, Italian ice cream. What do you mean we do the pigeons? I've never heard anyone well, say we're out of Venice. What for to do the pigeons? We've got them in Trafalgar Square. You know, I'm starting to think I'm here with the wrong person, to be honest. I'm not moaning on purpose, it's just... No, I know. And you weren't to know, but I don't like this sort of setup. I mean, what's a lion doing up there with wings on? If that was done today, you'd go, what's that shit? <laughs> right. Excellent, lovely. Thank you. With the rose petals. What a lovely room. Oh, okay. It's like going away with a girlfriend for the first time or something. You suddenly... <laughs> they they stuck him with, like, the best room. Which they, they should have. Uh -huh. should Listen, dude is, has earned his stripes. Uh-huh. Yeah. This, so, is a, this is just another role for him. Yeah. Yeah, that's just another role to play. Yeah. Another notch on his IMDb. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and so, and I like it because they cast him as himself. Yeah. So just be yourself. With this, the it, it round-headed buffoon, yeah. Carl Pilkington. Yeah, I, I want to know what the pitch was that Gervais. <laughs> well, granted, it's not just the pitch; it's the money too. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder what that talk was. How did he get him to do this? Because you know it's miserable. Like, it's not just being with Carl. Uh huh. It's not. Sunshine and rainbows. He just moans like. Ugh. It's like being followed by a a, a storm cloud. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 like, <laughs> and you can see Carl Pilkins's face in a storm cloud. Can't yeah, you? yeah. And it's not even a a, a a a an impressive storm cloud. It's a meh. Yeah. It's enough to piss you off. Yeah. Just it's like right around your <laughs> your head. Yeah. Right around like like that. That and anyway, I just. I give him so much credit for this, man. Yeah, same here, man. All right, he's... Okay, yeah. so Carl was saying it's yeah. like going on a holiday with a girlfriend. Yeah, thank you. With the rose petals. What a lovely room. It's like going away with a girlfriend for the first time or something. You suddenly... This is it. I'm with her all the time. It's when you find out what people... Are sort of... I like the little downfalls, the little ir irritating things that they do. <sighs> Everything's exaggerated. <laughs> Why honeymoons? Honeymoons shouldn't be after the wedding. You should do it before it. Find out if you like each other. It's called dating, bro. Yeah, dating. Hello, um, this is Ricky just checking in. Uh, 
yeah, so make sure you, you, you just set it in and um, uh, if you need anything, give us a call. Let me know if the little round headed twonk is moaning too much. Or in fact, let me know if he's not moaning enough, because that's what's funny. Um, <laughs> if he's not complaining, we'll have to change that. <laughs> um, Alright, speak to you soon. Do that. Bye. Looking forward to today? Yeah. Got some fun things I want to do. Um, I just want to show Carl sort of the, 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 the idea of the masked wall and all of that sort of thing. And it's a tradition that goes back years and um, it gave people anonymity and they could actually sort of live out their kind of alter egos behind these masks. And even nuns and, and priests would do it. And so they could sort of get away with things that they couldn't normally get away with, which I think is quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, this is it here. Yeah. Fancy dress. There you go. Dressing up. Masks. So uh, choose your character. Oh, I hate this sort of thing. <laughs> it's, it's really forced fun. The idea is, right, people never had any sort of anonymity. So to give them that, they would wear the mask and they could become somebody else, another persona. Everyone did this. It's not Everybody just Everybody did it. Everyone got involved. Look at that hat. So it's the precursor to social media, where you can kind of disguise yourself and live a fake, a fake life online. Yeah. yeah. It was, this was pre-social media. This there is ancient social media. Yep. 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 Big brain. Yep. Until, until the plague hit. Wiped all you guys out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How history repeats itself. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this look good on me, don't I? That actually doesn't do a lot for you, that one, to be honest, but... Hang on. They knew you were coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 That's funny. That's cheered me up. That's you wearing it, not me. That suits you. It totally changes you. Honestly. <laughs> I want to find the one that's um, he's like the, the plague doctor. He had a huge nose. So the doctor would wear something like that. Well, yeah. So you go in for a serious checkup, and you go. He, he comes out. <laughs> what the way he's doing that when you? Hi, Mr. Davis. Out. Listen. <laughs> you come to the bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want bad news from but someone it's like this. It's me up though, isn't it? I don't feel so bad about that. Now. Hello, good morning. <laughs> it's a lovely shop you have here. Oh, thank you. We are going to a uh, masquerade ball tonight. Uh-huh. And um, we need to have the appropriate outfits. Sure. This is more simple, more silent. Oh, this one is nice, too. It's Joker. This is great, this. Yes. Let's just see if it fits. But don't try and wear it like a smart suit. You've got to wear it as the character. You're not holding it right now, Carl. But that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm not comfortable when I play all the characters that I play. You keep Carl. mentioning that as if you've done loads of stuff, like you've well, done Shakespeare, you've dressed up as a bear in Star Wars, and a green gnome in something else that you're always going about. Hang on, OK, think about the bear in Star Wars. Again, it's a type of masquerade, isn't it? I was hidden in there, and I could fully explore the character of the Ewok. This is when it gets silly now. I was happy with the jacket. That's ruined it, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I look like a sperm. A sperm? Do you prefer Pierre? And what mask would I wear? The white and black. And what does that say to people? The message is um, the dreamer, man. Dreaming? That's dreamer. more me. That's more me. Yeah. yeah. The dreamer. Oh. Huh. <laughs> look a bit sad. Well, I am, you see. That's but hold your body tell. just, oh. Sympathy, oh, get the sympathy of the lady. Oh, no, not a fucking hell. No, just Jesus. Fucking no, that's that. that's annoyed. Just be sympathetically sad. Just oh, just, yeah. Look, oh, oh. head to one side. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you going as Casanova? Is it? Casanova. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. For you. you. Thank see you. See yeah. You. Okay. Oh man, it's, it's dangerous. I can hardly see. I'm in a city where it's like 90% water. <laughs> yeah, <I can't> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. There you go. Wow. We got mini George Washington here. 
crossing the Delaware yep. on Christmas. What, what, what Christmas was, Eve. Christmas Eve. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. America. America. In Italy. Yep. In Italy. Italy. And the hang. Not to be confused with Iraq. Yes. No, yeah. <laughs> George W. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, but you're gonna keep that up all night, walking around like that, dude. Stand you? aside, peasant. Oh, I can't do with this. You've been doing me head in already without you walking around swanning about like this. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not on a full night of that. Look at it, though. I'm, I know. Look at it. Madame, may I have this dance? Definitely not. Mm. Looking forward to the party? No, not really. I'm being honest. Not at all. It's what Warwick wants, though, isn't it? Still better than Brazil. No, yeah. It seems, you know, what Warwick wants. Oh, Brazil. When oh. he dressed up like, I don't know what. Oh, man, I remember that. Oh, oh. my God. It's just the, the tight. That's, that's what did it for yeah. me. Or did not do it for oh, me, I should God. say. Or it gets. It's just a lot of arsing about. I don't want to be someone else. I've been me 39 years. What's the point in having a night off from me? I'm quite happy being me. Warwick's an actor. That's what he does. Who is the real Warwick? What does he like, really? He's dressed up as a bear in Star Wars, a green goblin and something else. Someone shouted Willow at him the other day. I don't know what he played in that. You can get guarantee it's some sort of little troll under a bridge or something. I didn't know he was in Hitchhiker's Guide. He was in that. I didn't know. The way he goes on saying, oh yeah, people recognize me. And I, I, did, I did not know. He could have been in 321 in that bin. I don't know. I don't know what he's done. But the point is, you never see his face. He keeps going on as if he's a proper actor. Oliver Reed, he never dressed up as a goblin. Get fed, have a chat, and go home. Have you never been to a fancy dress party? No. All we need is a stag do on the next bow. <laughs> What's this? What are you doing with the shoes? It's fine, no one's looking at my feet. Of course they are. Look at everything it's I'm wearing. wearing. Look. Who's going to be looking at my feet when we look like this? Where well, stands out, though? It doesn't. Why am I telling there? It's not authentic now. Oh. Remember dignity. Uh, Carl, give us a hand. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Oh my god. Wait a minute, alright? Just with your attitude. Our guest. You alright? This is Warwick. <laughs> Madame, no, no, say, no. It's one, not one. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm a dream weaver. <laughs> so, so, how often do you dress up like this? <laughs> he totally does not understand the assignment. Or, uh, or uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He understands it. He just doesn't want to do it. Yeah, that, that, that's just like all of him. I feel like this dude. I love it. I love it because it sets a bar for not, for how not to take on a vacation. Yeah, you you know what not to do. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would you do that? No, no. Why? I'm gonna make you do it. No, we've progressed. I'm gonna make you do it. I'm just saying. You're gonna make a character. Only time this man wears frills is in his grave. Too frilly. I am no damn pirate of any Caribbean. I am not part of any antiquated naval military. I mean, dude, I would have too much fun. I don't know. I don't know what I'd be like in a blouse. What's the problem with having too much fun with this? I don't know, man. This is crazy. 
Like, only... How would I go, I need to go around? Hello, sir. Nice ascot. Like, fuck me. Like, get out of here. Like, I'm, excuse me. I'm the dream weaver. Get out. <laughs> All right, fine, Carl. Fine. If I like, if I had to, I would go as the 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 plague doctor. <laughs> That's exactly who I'd go to. Uh, as you're to me, death. Yes. yes. Hey, and I just keep looking at my watch. They didn't have watches then. Whatever. Mm-hmm. They look at the sundial. On the their sundial. Wrist. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ask like that. And the characters with what we're doing. Uh. Uh, so, are you very different no, now? No, 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 no. Talk about the room and the, the food and the, uh, the the experience. Venetian people uh, like to dress and do some um, game uh, to seduce uh, her uh, uh, victims. Uh, so. Let them lower. Uh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. you. It's I like you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's just awkward. It's like a, a, a sort of an horrible come down with me. <laughs> I like it. Listen to him laughing and all that, having a good time. And, uh, I'll tell you, I can't wait to find something out what I do that he's going to hate. I'll say, remember, Warwick, I dressed up as a knob for you that night. You do me a favour. <laughs> if, n- if she was a nun, she would. <laughs> Maybe that's why you haven't got one. Yeah, like a burning. Uh, no, I'm all right. I've, I've had some pasta earlier. I'm quite full. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> cheers, yeah. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Just have one drink, yeah. and then I'll probably get going because I have to be up early. <laughs> so he might stay, but I'll be shooting off. Dream weaver. He's got to go weave some dreams. Well, in a mind like Carl, that's a scary. That's a scary thing. Uh, he's probably one of the terrorists that. Uh, uh, attacked Imagination Land in South Park. <laughs> I'll bet you it was uh, one of them. That's so funny, man. <laughs> oh, we, God. We, we used it as a sound check. Yeah. Uh, it's probably on our Patreon. The link's in the description. Yeah. Hello. All right. How's it going? He's doing me head in. What's he doing? It's exactly what I said to you at the start. He's treating it like a holiday. Uh, he's got, like, one of them little wig things on that judges wear and a little outfit and... Got 5,000 miles to cover. He sat here having canopies. What's he dressed as? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's meant to be. I've never seen it. I don't know what he's dressed as. Describe it to me. He's got a little judge's wig on. A, a red velvet jacket and but like a small Adamant. Imagine Adamant as a kid. <laughs> you should see the looks we get. I was on a gondola. People weren't looking at the old buildings and all that. They were going, what is going on there? What is happening there? <laughs> they probably think you've got a, you're a businessman who's got a weird fetish. Like Pretty Woman. <laughs> 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 pretty Woman. Oh, my God. Well, maybe we, we can make a game. An old-fashioned game, a Venetian. Yeah, of course, an old-fashioned. Casanova use it. Ah. Yeah, the pleasure machine. Well, I didn't know whether it was something like, more like Monopoly or something. <laughs> Wanna be the first? Well, it's it's his idea. <laughs> yeah, but then, <laughs> then he wanted to come to a party. Mm. Yeah. So, so Warwick, so it's your go. Yeah, then. definitely. I just wanted to have a bit of something to eat and drink. Well, we can. Let's both go in together, then. Oh, We're doing okay. the trip together. Let's experience yeah, yeah, yeah. the pleasure machine together. together. Oh, yeah, that's a bit weird, together. surely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Let's go in together with the Dream Weaver. Put the blind... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... Yeah. Do you see me? No. OK. So, give me your hand. Oh, oh, my God. God. Uh, oh, oh, my God. God. Don't worry. Oh, this is sensory don't deprivation. Well, we... So we both went in the pleasure machine. It's not a machine. It was a changing room. It was just a, a, a curtain. Close, relax. The machine's turning. Wait. Oh, well, well, no, it's, it's my hat. Oh. Parlor games were invented for people who aren't really friends. You've got nothing to talk about because you don't really know them. What? 
What like, the? Oh, we have charades, don't we? Play, give us a clue or whatever. If you get the board game out, it's because the party's not going well. Whoever's been having like the, the garlic and the cheese and stuff, it was rank having someone sort of breathing in my face. A stranger, <laughs> a smelly stranger breathing in my face. I was thinking, where, where's the pl what, it's a pleasure machine? Where's the pleasure? Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. You know what's funny though? Spencer, you know what's funny? What? What's funny? Now, now he is 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 crying and 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 griping over these things when this man has been eaten to death by mosquitoes in a fucking muddy jungle. Uh huh. Shut up, dude. Yeah, you've had it much like, worse than this. Oh my god. You will find anything to mope, grime, gripe, and complain he, about. He didn't bring his mobile toilet seat. So uh -huh. that's a plus? Yeah, yeah, he didn't ring his inflatable thingy, my bobber. Yeah, his his pilking pants or pilking what it pilko pants? Pilko pants, yeah. Like like oh God, he just something happens, I feel like he just wipes. His memory gets wiped. Uh huh. Every night. Uh, which means he'll live until he's like hundred and twenty. Yeah. And there's still no be, stress. He'll it still is. be complaining. Yep. Shoot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right, I reckon we've got to get going. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't like it, I don't know. I've experienced it. What are you having done? <laughs> I don't know what he was having played with, what he was having pleasured. But he definitely wasn't in a rush to get out. Are you relaxed? I am relaxed. Is this good? No, I've had enough now. <laughs> Is that touch, I don't know what, what, what you're saying, touch. It's, it's in my head. Just look after him. No, no. I'll see you later. Carl. Oh. <laughs> Fucking machine. That's a load of nonsense. What's that? There's <sighs> oh, a lot of hands. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that totally did not go how I thought it would. When you say pleasure machine, I think something completely different. Yeah. Uh, uh, do I just have a Pro sick mind? Uh, probably. Probably. My, yeah. my thing is, you blindfold me. I've already, I already have a plan to kill everyone in the room. Okay. That's just how I go. Okay. <laughs> you can blindfold me. I, I will go crazy. Noted. Yes. <laughs> Take a note of that, people. <laughs> Don't blindfold this man. Oh. Or do it because it's the oh. hilarious. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> oh my god. Just having my bit of fun for today. Um, Warwick did what he wanted to do last night. Hang on a minute. Getting fumbled and all that lot. Um, that was his wish. So today, yeah, I'm just having a go on like a jetpack. I've seen it on the internet. Wear it on your back. You whiz along the sea. It's not you use as a sea to push you in the air. It's like a superpower. It's close, closest thing to flying. The problem with Venice is it's stuck in its ways. It's very old fashioned. The art, the buildings. Whereas a jetpack is ideal. A water jetpack here. I don't know why they haven't used them. They're still messing about in gondolas. <laughs> it's not practical. That's what this is about, isn't it? Showing the kids at home the future. Look at that. James Bond, isn't it? Wow. You're going to be strapped to that in a minute. Flying high above the lagoon. It's not, it's not quite what I thought it was. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm excited about this now. Nice. Hello. How's it going? All right, Ricky. Um, yeah, it's good. It's really going well, thanks. Today's a little bit different. There's so much more we could do in Venice, but we wanted to have a go at this water jetpack thing. Right. So he thinks it's the future. So he's strapped into this contraption, which is actually quite a cool-looking device, but when he's strapped to it, it sort of takes anything away from it. <laughs> What's he talking about? So, uh, so he, he, and actually, I think he's regretting it now. He actually looks terrified. Well, of course he is. He probably only did it. 
to do something that was his idea that he would enjoy more than you, but it'll all backfire. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. See so, ya. Uh, I think we've got everything. Just end it. Just hit the end button. OK. All right, I'll enjoy it. I'll to speak to you soon. Yeah, cheers, Ricky. Thanks. Bye. All right. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. It's always pulling me back. Yeah. Lower. I thought you're just in the water and you give it that. I'm just not a good swimmer and I've got like fucking scaffolding strapped to me back. <laughs> it's meant to be the future. You all right? Not really. I don't want to do it. Oh. Well, once you're in, it'll be fine. This is the hard bit, the getting in. Yeah, it's way... This is the bungee jumping all over again. I would do this. I would too! Come I on! I would do this. If you're gonna go on a jet ski, you go on some of these. I, I, would, I would love that just once. I mean, granted, my little hose would have to be like... 20 of them since I'm so big. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, get my fat ass up uh, off the water. Yeah, I if think... You, if you see me jetpacking, get out of the fucking way. Yeah. Something's wrong. I'm gonna need about 19 of those myself. Yeah, like, oh, God, this is this is great. I can't breathe. They've got fucking polar neck on. I hate these. I can't... Uh... Well, would you rather be freezing cold? You're gonna appreciate that I don't that know. I'd just there. rather not be doing this. I don't know why I picked you it. You booked it's it. thing again, I know. Don't annoy me. It's only one step. This is heavy. Is it? Hang on, let me just have a rest a minute. Where would you rather be now, in there or in the pleasure tent? <laughs> just lie back and just relax. OK. <laughs> so undignified, isn't it? Slowly, slowly. Carl, how do you feel? Excited? You got to get get up in the water like this. Stand straight? Yeah, just be a straight up and down. Your legs are full of air. <laughs> sure. <laughs> My legs are full of air. Just lean forward. Just lean forward and, and try and... I love the fact that he snooped yeah, himself with this. This is idea. I'm having problems putting my legs down. Just lean forward. One, two, three. No. Right. Come on. Right, now just relax. You feel calm? Okay. All right, so you ready then? Hit the button. Just try to keep yourself balanced. Now roll over in your belly. Roll over. Twist. <laughs> Put it on. Roll over. You right? No, forget it. I couldn't control it. You just got to throw your weight back and roll over. No, forget it. I'll get the water with you want. Not worth it. This isn't ready yet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How's this got made? I've seen people on the Dragon's Den with more useful stuff. This is fucking death trap. We don't have to send people out. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, smile. I'll get a nice picture of you with Venice. <laughs> what are you doing? I nearly died. I nearly died. I nearly died. You're fine. Just pull the ball. What a wuss! Just pull the ball and you'll come out of the jetpack. No, he said the cork. Oh, that doesn't work. It's brilliant. It does. Just, brilliant. Just pull it. It's not coming off. What's it? I'll tell you what, once it's off, put it in the fucking bin. It's shit. Pull the yellow cord oh. out. The yellow I'm cord. Pull in the yellow cord. No, the yellow, the yellow one. There's only one cord! Can you help us? Yeah. Okay, wait a second now. Up here, I'll go. Say <laughs> <laughs> to that, it's like a beetle clinging on for his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See again, it's me picking things. I don't know what I want in life. I pick that. I've got no one else to blame. I'm not a great swimmer. At least he admitted it. Yeah. Uh, oh, dude. you're just dying over here. <laughs> Oh man, Warwick, man. Uh, yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah. Like, oh man. I love that, man. <laughs> He's like, y you idiot. You yeah, did this to you yourself. Did this. He was like, I wanted to show him history, but this is, looks entertaining. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, you can only be mad at yourself. Yeah. It's like, it's like, you, 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 as, not really a friend, I don't know, but like, 
you want to look out for him, but at the same time, you kind of want to see it happen. Yeah, like, the most Carl Pilkington thing just happened to Carl Pilkington. Uh-huh. Like, he basically got waterboarded in a, in a cesspool of a body of water. Yeah, because like, he wanted to seem futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking humble pie. Uh-huh. Uh, there we go. I couldn't get out of it. I saw only life flash before me then. What did you see? Some seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> That looks fun. <laughs> Awkward. Uh. Embarrassing, really, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it a go. Well, you sat there. Gave it a go. I don't, know. I don't think the motor actually started, did it, the whole time? <laughs> We're there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. You, you okay? <laughs> oh, dude. It's just like. That's what this whole. Thing needed was someone poking the bear. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like, oh well, you uh, gave it a go. Like, well, ah, but did you? But did you? Did the motor even turn on? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Okay. Love it. All right, boy. I heard about the water jetpack. Pathetic. Um. Right, time to uh, move on. I know you're a bit impatient, so I found a little shortcut from the original Marco Polo route. You're going to cut through Macedonia and Eastern Europe. Okay. It's not what Marco Polo did. It's not authentic. Why copy someone else? There's other roads to <coughs> created, other paths to go down now. You don't always go the same way to Tesco, do you? <laughs> Macedonia. Uh, it's got one of the largest communities of Roman gypsies. Europe, so they're the party tonight, and uh, I know you like caravan all of this, so you'll be right at home there, all right? See you later. Cheers. Uh, being a gypsy, I don't know, there's a little bit of me that I think would like it, but then, I don't know, I don't like change, do I? And their life, that's all it is, it's just one big change day after day, isn't it? They never get used to the surroundings. You know what I mean? It's like going on holiday, isn't it? Those first few days you have where you think, right, where's the shop? Where can you get the milk from? There's nothing here. I don't understand how people at home can call themselves gypsies. It's nothing like that at home. They're not going around in a little horse cart like that. They've got a static caravan on breeze blocks. They're not going anywhere. They're not travellers, are they? They can't go anywhere. It's some, just some, some bricks. Thank you. Apple pie? Excellent. Really nice. It's lovely. Mm, thank you. Lovely. Do we, do we sleep in here tonight? Here. Uh, yeah. Carl, oh, there's a hole in the roof. Let's get that plastic sheeting on. Do we put the plastic on the outside? Over the top. Yeah. Carl, can you get my case in before it gets wet as well? Oh. That's got a hole in it. Hang on, I need a bit more room than that. Look how short that is. Stop moaning. <laughs> Look Did you hear that? Carl who, said... Who is... Yeah, stop moaning. Moaning. Yeah. Now, now, this is the type of shit Carl's used to. Yeah. Just... Just... Being in the suck. Yeah. I, I, I think this is Carl's revenge to Warwick. For yeah, because he him... doesn't do this. Right. He doesn't. Yeah. He, he has big fancy uh, actors coaches. Yeah, he does. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So this, yeah. I, I think they're both... I think this is good for both of them. Uh-huh. Eat a little bit of humble pie. Yeah. After that dank-looking apple pie. It really looked awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, someone let us know in the comments. What is that? What is that? And where can I get a recipe? Hell yeah. There's nothing wrong with this. Of all the people to be moaning about being in a tight space, you're not the one. Ah! Never seen that before. I never spoke to someone. So I said, oh, what instrument are you playing? Oh, playing the goat. <laughs> never seen that. Properly nicely done as well, like, it doesn't look ropey. Oh, or, shit! You know, a dead animal, it looks quite perky. 
I suppose any animal that has more reasons to be around helps it in the long run. I think that's the problem with pandas and things. They haven't got a job, have they? They're going out and no one cares. Whereas if you've got an animal that's chipping in, dogs do a lot now. They get blind dogs, huskies. That's just another job for the goat, isn't it? It does milk, does cheese. Musical instrument. It's good. <laughs> Doesn't have a job. <laughs> pandas look... What do pandas have? Besides... Uh, pandas... Always being endangered. Panda Express. Yeah. That's what they have. Yeah. Legacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got a good tune out of it. I had a good dance. Did me bit. You know, they all seem to be enjoying me having a dance with them. It's just Warwick who looked a bit sort of fed up and not up for it. Mm. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether he knew that, you know, there was, um, that well, there could be sort of issues between me and, and, and gypsies and the fact that they, they like to touch me for luck. I don't know. My head oh. seems to be the luckiest point on me, actually. It's, it's the, the body isn't quite so good. He said a few people were getting sly touches in. Like, sort of, sort of coming up with reasons to touch his head, sort of going, oh, you've got a fly in your head there. Sort of rubbing his head for a bit of luck. Oh, luck, yeah. But I think it's a lot of old bollocks, because I've been with him for a while, and uh, he's pissing me right off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's been hard work. Warwick annoyed me a little bit when we first got here. I was working my ass off there, dancing around, getting them all excited into it. He sat in here doing fuck all. Suddenly, you know, they've shown a bit of interest in him and his Hollywood career and his family and all that. Like, he's got his album out. Uh, so he's loving that. That's my children. We were in Hollywood. That's Hollywood. where the Hollywood. films. Ah. No, no, no. Harrison, <coughs> Sam, my wife there. Yeah, good. I went on holiday. I can't Do you have a holiday? Well, you're always a on car. holiday, I suppose. I've got a car. <laughs> yeah. That's a flag. I haven't really got this pigeon. It's a bit bad, really. I haven't got a picture of Suzanne, but I've got a picture of a pigeon. <sighs> uh, the next morning... How was last night? You slept. You slept all right, really, considering. I had a cling film for a, a blanket. I think he slept all right. I woke up a few times, he was just there. Just wrapped up, sealed all the way around. Like a little samosa. <laughs> so in that way, he is cut out for this. And I've been saying all along that he's not up to it. But if it comes to sleeping in little holes and crevices, he's ideal. Oh, man. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. You knew this was coming, man. Look at that. Like, the fuck, dude. It works perfectly. It does. Look at that. It does. Why does it work perfectly? I don't know. This is fucking awesome. It's either what, like ET or fucking uh, what's that? What's that? Toto. Toto. From yeah. Freaking uh, Wizard of Oz. Uh huh. God. At least Warwick has a good uh, humor about it. I feel like you gotta have tough skin, man. Yeah, you, yeah. Like, I mean, he he seemed very polite when people were like just rubbing his head, like, yeah. like come on. If, if people were kept rubbing your head, I, I, you'd get, I feel you'd get, like you like, get annoyed after a while I, if I did that all the time. Oh right? yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. But I, I feel like um, his his acting career is taking him all over the world. Yeah. So he's he's probably more open to other cultures and understands that there is a different there this I am different. Yeah. And yeah. they don't usually see different. Right. Right. So and and Carl, I bet, and I bet that's going to get old on this trip. Yeah, yeah. There's only 3 episodes, so only 3 opportunities yep. for it to get old. Yeah. When you stop just puffing and panting like that, it's really... I don't want to breathe heavily. Stinks of goat shit everywhere. Right, I've been checking the guidebook, and I found something I think you might like. The Sufi religion, which is very popular here, um, they practice mystical exercises, you know, to get into a spiritual trance. I think you need to find yourself, Carl. No, really isn't a problem. 
Or is this it? I mean, what have you done that's spiritual, really? I was hypnotised by Paul McKenna once. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Warwick. Carl. Murtazan. Murtazan. Yes. You come in here every day? Yes, yes, yes. I live here. So, what's... Sorry, what are these, then? This is a... This is, this is a man a... Uh, in... in this place. Oh, what is it? It's not growing tomatoes, is it? It's coffins. Yes. Oh. This is my grandfather. He was professor in school. He was a professor in school. School, yes. Will there be a place for you to yes, be here? Yes, this is my place. This? Uh, yes. <laughs> when I... dead. Are you happy with that? Are you happy with this as a space? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right below the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like a graveyard. Is there something a little bit more... No, it does. It does feel no, like a graveyard. No, it's all sort of majestic somehow. It's mad, isn't it? You think it's mad? I just want to remember them how they were. They want stuff in the basement. It's like a car showroom, the way they're all stacked up. <laughs> I couldn't imagine this ever... Well, it wouldn't catch on. We wouldn't allow it at home. There's no way. You have to get permission to have a conservatory. But why wouldn't we allow it? Well, I don't understand what's what's so odd. When you come to sell it, people are up there going, oh, this is nice. Oh, oh what's down here for storage? And you come in here, oh, there's Elsie, there's Auntie, Auntie Jean. I don't know why you can't just accept things for the way they are. You just want always change stuff. I this has been change. happening for 150 years like this. I'm not happy with this, I tell you. I would not be happy with this. <sighs> Carol, this is for you. Okay. Cheers. No, you are like dervishes. What? Aul billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman Fine to stop. It, it almost sounded like a Metallica uh, song. It yeah. sounded metal as it hell. Needed, it needed ba a bass line. Yeah, yeah. It needed it. some some uh, some truck amp, some trucker rips yep. right there. It yep. would have been perfect. Yep. Wow. And Lars Ulrich being the worst drummer ever. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, with everyone's having a good time, running around in circles, having a dance, having the you know praying, doing the what's the name. <laughs> Suddenly I thought I was going, uh, just doing that thing, doing that. I thought, oh yeah, that's interesting. Little chip. And then, bosh, in the face. It knocked me for Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! I'll put one right through here. He showed me all the scars. One here, load here. I'm going, oh, pull it through there. It's like a game of kaplunk. Oh, he's just Oh, no! Oh, no! It makes me laugh is when I'm at home, if I get a toothpick and I put it in my mouth and mess with it, Suzanne's going, don't do that, it's dangerous. Wait until she sees it. If she ever has a go at me again about messing with the toothpick, I'll go watch that. No, 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 get that off my screen. Was Warwick nearly sick? I looked down at one point and he was sort of throwing up in his hat. Oh, shocking. I mean, you've got to admit that, seeing it. And then he starts saying, oh, we better get him out. He's going to be sick on the carpet. Well, I wasn't. Uh, I told us he was all right. There was definitely a point when he kept turning around and going, I was worried because there's so many mats in there. If he's sick, about seven mats have to go to the dry cleaners. They're all over the shop. Power through it. I've not seen that on the telly. I've never seen it. Song of Praise on a Sunday, it's well boring. Uh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see old people dancing around to, you know, Lord's Prayer sticking knives in the red, but does it make any difference? Does it mean they believe in something more because they do that? Oh my God, dude. Uh.
isn't it fitting that Carl finally has an analytical thought that is actually a Co- good point. Like a coherent thought? Coherent. But it's, well, dudes are st- fucking uh, things in their fucking head. Like, Ugh. I am not one to to say anything about anyone else's religion. <sighs> uh, but, my God, that is a tad extreme. That is very extreme. Ugh. You know, uh, yeah, that's a tad extreme for me. I, I would feel uncomfortable, especially, one, you don't know the language. You yeah. don't know the history. I feel like it's very unfair to throw an outsider just in on that. Yeah. you got to ease them in and understand, hey, this is what you're about to see. And then we go. Yeah. Not and like, here you go, and like they have some sick Ramstein intro, Ugh. and then knives in the in the mouth. Oh, man. There's metal, know. and then there's this. Yeah, this is metal. Ugh. This is metal. Fuck that. Fuck. It's going well. Um, we're in Macedonia, of course. Um, we went to that religious ceremony yesterday. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it was a bit full on. Now girl's just sat there with his headphones on, not really talking. We well, like, what got him next? Um, I've sorted out someone that's gonna give him a bit of a lift. It's actually something I wanted to do for ages. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, it'll probably go mad at first, but once you get him up there, he'll love it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Is this safe? Of course it is. It's stringy. Yeah, electric <laughs> wires everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's just fucking stupid. Thanks for doing the Marco Polo route. It's cool. You're going to be weightless. Here we go. Ages ago. He kept going on about saying how he'd love to stick me on a load of balloons and get me in the air. It's not normal, is it, for a mate to be wanting that? Like, hold the end. Do something. You're here. I haven't seen you do anything yet since we've been away. Took some pictures. Jump. <sighs> oh yes. Here we go. Nettles. <sighs> oh, fucking hell! It hurts on the come down, doesn't it? It looks great though. It's really colourful. <sighs> Created a new ass. It's good TV. <sighs> That's it, get the seat round. That's it, cheers. That's better. That's better. Oh, you bastard. Is it better to run off the hill? For the record, go. <laughs> Ridiculous run. Come on. Go. Done. No good. <laughs> Warwick, you'll have to do it. I'm doing it. Come on, Warwick. No, 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 no. Why not? Well, I don't, I don't know. So we've got what we That's need. his answer to everything since I've been here. No, I don't want to. Being short, you see, I'm not. I don't really like hikes that much. Don't mess about. Uh, no, I'm not messing about. The kids want it. Get him up. Yeah. Oh, there you go, they love it. Come on, don't let the kids down. No, the kids down. <laughs> what are you doing for the kids? Come on, it's get in it. The thing doesn't there. even fit me, though, does it? Come on. Look, it's too big. Get in the way. No, I don't think this is going to work on me, is it? Yeah, it is. It's going to be really <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no. Not too high, Carl. Ooh. Not too high, not too high. You drowned me the other day. No one cared. We've got a dwarf and a balloon. There's no danger. Ooh. He's Bobbing high. Up and down. So no one cares. Why don't you show this concern with me on the jetpack? I did. You didn't? You went, oh, that's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> this will make up for it. Yeah, it's funny from down there, isn't it? I never had a kite. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I reckon that's brought us closer together. Hello? Alright. Did but, you do the balloon thing? Uh, no, I didn't do it in the end. There wasn't enough balloons, so they couldn't lift me, so I put I stuck Warwick in it. What do you mean? I stuck Warwick in it. He was quite happy. I wasn't. You were? It's it's fine. Oh, I just heard him. I could I could hear him say he wasn't happy. He was happy. I wasn't. Well hang on a minute anyway. Why is it alright for me to do it, but he's lugging around with me and he's not doing anything? Yeah, but 
I don't know if that looks good. If that looks like you're bullying. Ricky, what? not uh... being funny, but have you, I've seen people on balloons. I've never seen a little fella on one. Warwick's <laughs> enjoyed himself. There isn't a problem. Put what on. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm here. Warwick, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm all right. I didn't enjoy it, though. I mean, it was ridiculous. We had the, the little local kids. They were the safety. They were holding on to the ropes. So anything could yeah. have happened. It was windy. It was their best day ever. What if they just let him go and he just kept floating? What would have happened then? <laughs> he just would have gone up. Well. <laughs> well, well. But the same thing for me. When Dick Whittington walked to London with his cat, OK, he looked after the cat. He didn't make the cat do dangerous things for his own amusement. The cat gave him company. It was a symbiotic relationship. Honestly, if you offered me a cat now, I'd do a swap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Next time on An Idiot Abroad. Uh, gonna stop it here. Don't want any spoilers. No, no spoilers. No spoilers. <clears throat> but this was funny. This is two, two thumbs, thumbs up. up. Uh, I, I, I personally love War, War, the addition of Warwick. Yeah, that was genius right there. Like... <laughs> oh my god it was so uh, he, seeing Carl happy at that end like made it for me and I just I just man he good kudos on him man kudos on Warwick man just, just going doing with it. it you know dealing with Carl moaning Pilkington and the reason Ricky's worried is because money and lawsuit. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh <laughs> has to be in good with Sky yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah, he has to be in good with Sky TV. So yeah. Yeah. No. Don't Man. mess with the no. Don't mess with the actor. You can mess with the idiot abroad. Uh huh. But can't oh, mess with the actor. Yep. Man, I am so sad that there's only two episodes of this left. Yeah. Plus deleted scenes. Yeah. Because like I want this to keep going. I I wish this was an eight parter. I, Instead of a, a three parter plus deleted. Yeah, I just I I get it. I get it. Like what else? Where else did they put put them? There's so many different ways, and it would have gotten. It would have ended up in reruns of the tra travel travel channel. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, yeah. You asked at the top of the video why why did they cut this short? I think I think uh, I, I, you've I answered think, your I, own question. Yeah, I think so. I I can see that. I yeah, can see that. yeah. You know. Anyway. Thanks, y'all, for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug and do something epic. We'll see y'all next time. Later.